Hi, Helen. Hi. Continuing to speak about what Sarah was speaking at, just out of curiosity, um, your relationship with your with your children, with your grown up children, that would be fun to to listen to. How 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 did it change? How it's um as as before. Thanks. Children, my children have been my biggest teachers. Let's just say. <laughs> um, as I'm sure a lot of parents can understand. Uh, my relationship with them before was just completely, um, everything that I did as a parent was tinged with um, lack of self-esteem, lack of self-worth, lack of confidence. And uh, I had an inability to uh, be firm when I needed to. I wanted them to like me all the time, which as a parent uh, isn't always possible, let's just say. So yeah, of course. Um, because of this utter need for approval that was coming out of me, please make me feel better about myself. Please like me, please accept me. And um, now it's, it's very different. It is that love will sometimes say no, or will be firmer when it needs to, when that's the right thing to, the best way to love in that moment, you know, and uh, just to be able to raise teenagers and know that sometimes they're not gonna like you and it's okay, you know, and sometimes, uh, and to be able to be a parent without feeling that you've done something wrong or there's something inadequate in your parenting. Of course, I'm always open to deeper ways of um, loving them more and expressing that love. But it's not coming from a, I need to, I need to be a good parent so I can feel better about myself. It's just, what's it like to interact with this other being knowing that I'm not really separate to them, but playing the role of the person that's responsible for them. That's a very different experience. It's an exploration, it's a discovery of what love can look like between myself and this being. And most of all, not to take it personally when they're doing her teenage things, you know, that's, you're nodding there, so I'm guessing you've had the same experience. Yeah. Yes, not to take it personally, that is, that is so accurate. Thank you. Even simple things like uh, if, if one of them is in a mood uh, there may be just being able to have the realization there's maybe nothing I've done to cause that, right? It's just yeah. how they're feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not dragging myself through a horrible experience trying to oh. change myself so that they feel better. Yes, definitely. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you, Helen. Good. Very good advice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.